Welcome back to the Bloodborne Redux, everyone. Oops, I've already forgotten the controls to this game. Uh, let's go back to the Hunter's Dream. Uh, since the last episode, I decided to mess around the settings a little bit. I realized in the recording of the last episode, the interlacing lines were a bit too much. Uh, the issue is it rendered a bit differently in the video than it did on my screen, like or when I was recording. So yeah, I changed that around so it should be it should be okay now. Anyways, uh, we're going to be continuing on here in Bloodborne. Hello, good hunter. Bloodborne. Here in this and of course now we have insight. Honorable hunter. Pursue Normally we don't have insight at this like point in the game, but I'll take it, I'll take it. And I will be here for you. She's always here for us. Okay. Oh, we can save it with her as well. Interesting. And of course nothing happens because... Oh no, the shit does happen. That definitely wouldn't have been a thing in the old PlayStation games. Yeah, obviously I'm playing the... Uh, the Noble Zion or Scion. That kind of has sort of shitty HP and endurance, so we're going to be working on that. Farewell, may you find uh, the other thing we're going to be working on is German. Does it actually... hold on. No, it doesn't spend it. Okay. That's what I was wondering, but that can't be a thing, right? That it would spend the insight. All right, let's talk to this fool. Set. Whoa. Three that unlocks the the other inside shop. This one just goes back. Uh, let's see what else is over here. Upgrade right hand weapon. Unlock tra. Oh, weapon transformations unlocked in the pause menu. Press press L one to transform. That's what I was wondering. That is cool. <laughs> it's interesting you have to do it through the menu because of course you'd have to do it through the menu. Alright, let's talk to German. Look at this low pixel ass German. Does he only have one leg as well? He has a peg leg. We can't see it from the subtitles. Anyways, we know this dialogue. Does he always pause like that? To be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I can't believe. Like when he says that, this dude is gross. Okay, I think what we're also gonna do is we'll check the shop because look at our bullets and our blood vials. It ain't much. It ain't much. So we'll we'll take a quick look. I'm assuming the price of everything is still the same. Yeah, we're gonna pick six of them up. And a single quicksilver bullet. Excellent. What else do you sell? Doll hat, doll clothes. Yeah, the... <laughs> the this pebble, look at it. <laughs> it's like a fucking mini Death Star. And a call. And they sell a call beyond just like that. What the fuck, man. Oh, I think that door leads out probably to the seven inside one to the messenger thing. Like that secret messenger area. Anyways, I'm going to head back. Let's get back to Centro Yarnum. This is some like. You know, I remember now what the menus of this game remind me of. It, they remind me of Final Fantasy VII. Because FF7 is the one. Listen, bro, I can't believe that... 
Like, why is my health not restored? Oh shit, how do you use the items? Okay, just like that. Uh, that is some bullshit, if I do have to say so myself. Because really, if I warp around, I should get my health refilled. Shouldn't I? I think that courtesy could be afforded, at least. Anyways, thank you guys for the support on the first episode. Uh, I'm glad you guys are liking this game as well. I'm liking this game too. Oh, you know what? Let's try this bitch out. Of course, the, the thing is that the saw spear is probably way better in the normal game as well with its not transformed state like obviously the saw spear is probably the best weapon in the game uh, overall and the only thing that lets it down is this fucking this uh, transformed state which is a little bit shitty Please tell me it's a blood vial. No, it's a Molotov cocktail. Whoa! Now how do I... Ho ho ho, I like it. Uh, how do I put this away uh, without wasting a bullet? I can't, can I? Yes, I can. Cool. That is super cool. <laughs> Holy shit, that was worth it. Bruh, I really like that. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try navigating back to. Okay, I was gonna try running past them, but that ain't gonna be happening. So what I was gonna say is uh, that is a really good mechanic with the gun. I really wish that was possible in actual Bloodborne too, because one of the things, it, one of the things about Bloodborne is that there is like really no ranged weapon, except for the in the DLC. There's the Simon's Bowblade, I think it's called. But still, you know, I wish the guns were used in like the actual Bloodborne a little bit better as a ranged weapon. Anyways, this is where we were and I remember we have to go to the left because that's the door we unlocked. Right here, I think. Navigating old games was always a nightmare a little bit because... Yeah, okay, that's very, very well synchronized. Because everybody, everything kind of tended to look the same, you know. I think Tomb Raider was the worst sort of offender of that. Am I going the right way? It's all a mystery. We'll just we're just riding it out, you know. And this was a very weird. Yeah, this is where I was. Uh, sort of heading towards, or I said we should head towards. And is this the main square? Yeah, it is. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I think this is the bridge where the werewolves would be, right? Just trying to... No, 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 no. This is the bridge that... We don't have this bridge in Bloodborne, I think. So yeah, again, I, I, I got onto YouTube and I was watching clips of old Tomb Raider. Like the first three Tomb Raiders, which... I didn't even play the first one when I was a kid, or the third one. I played the second and fourth ones. Uh, which were probably the worst ones to play because those were hard as balls. Like the second one especially. 
Uh, I only got to the dragon using cheat codes. Oh fuck, am I, am I? I'm trying to not get killed here. Oh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I forgot. All right, never mind. You can backtrack forever. Okay, let's do this again. Yeah, I remember I got to the dragon using cheat codes, but I couldn't figure out how to kill it. I must have like unloaded a metric fuck ton of bullets into that dragon and just nothing happened. Probably because it was a puzzle boss and you weren't supposed to uh, like actually fight it. But my like, I don't know, eight year old brain couldn't figure that shit out. That's it. And then the fourth one, I, I think I also... Whoa! Okay, I'm about... Nearly got blasted there. Holy shit! Okay. Thought I could strafe. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've put together where we are. It's sort of like... Uh, only a rough approximation. But this is pretty closely matched. And this is where the ambush is. Yep. And there's a lamp here too. Very kindly put. Nice. Very kindly kindly put lamp. What I'm gonna do here is... Oh, fuck. A lot of the enemies have armor. Which might be a thing in Bloodborne. It's been like long as fuck since I've actually played Bloodborne proper. Come on. <gasps> Did you see the <laughs> giant ass R? <laughs> nice. There's a giant ass R one flashing above him. And by the way, if you're wondering, the the slowdowns are intentional. Uh, and there's a way to turn them off as well, but again, I'm trying to keep the experience as close to like what is intended as possible. Okay, so yeah, you can do that. Okay, I got your attention now, right? I should probably... Okay, that happens real time. That's what I was wondering. Can you? Thank you. Give me back my HP. And here, listen. It's because you're playing this version of Bloodborne. Oh fuck. Doesn't mean... What the hell are these hitboxes? So what I was gonna say is just because you're playing this version of Bloodborne doesn't mean the standard tactics don't apply, which is you're meant to run across and kill this gunman. Because otherwise he's going to be a pain in the ass throughout the whole time you're fighting these villagers. But that didn't quite work. Because there's another one here blasting away. And of course the dog. Oh shit. Okay. You might be wondering how screwed we are. On a scale of 1 to 10. And it's a 10. And you know what? The extra screw up is. The extra screw up is I didn't hit up the lamp, did I? I didn't hit up the lamp. Fuck. This might be a. This might be a bit of a jump cut here. Yeah, for sure. All right, see you guys back in a second. Okay, so I'm back in the general vicinity of where we're meant to be. Uh, number one priority here, learning from our previous mistake, is 100% to hit up that lamp. Like, you'd be stupid not to hit up the lamp, right? Uh, and get arrogant and eventually get killed. 
Yeah, how stupid would that be? I love the dialogue of these guys, by the way. Shout out to them. Uh, let's do a little save here. Oh man, one of the things... Remember always having to like switch out the, the fucking memory cards and shit? Especially on PS2, like you needed... If you were playing PS1 games, you needed to have the... Like a PS1 memory card. And it had two slots, I think. And it was just always about... Like, you know, picking the right slot and all that. I don't know, what, what were they, like 32 megs or something? Something like insanely small. Like a fucking... Uh, like, the most basic apps are bigger than that now. What a bruz. I'm just trying to get their attention, don't worry, I'm not being stupid here. Uh, I am being stupid in that I didn't switch my weapon. Yeah, it's a little bit less, like, of a tactic to brute force stuff. I shouldn't have healed. Like, you know how in Bloodborne you can kind of get away with just, like, going in the middle of an encounter and swing blindly. That's because the... Like, the way you attack is a little bit slower in this game. Like, slower in the sense that... Come on. Did it just, like, glitching out? It's slower in the sense that you swing a couple of times and there's this, like, weird pause. Uh, so you need to be a little bit... A little bit more tactical. There you are. Okay, that mechanic... That mechanic is still alive and well. Uh, but with these graphics, it's actually a lot easier. Uh, you guys know, I've talked about this before, that... Whoa, what the... F oh, shit. I didn't know this. Like, this guy shouldn't be able to break through. Listen, I've played this game called Bloodborne, and you are meant to stay on the other side of this piece of shit door. I do like how they're, like the devs are, are adding their own little touches. It's very nice touches, actually. Um, just keep the experience fresh, you know. Obviously, going in here completely blind definitely does help. The classic area. I'm gonna try a looping back around. I mean, the trolls shouldn't be a problem. Although, yes, he will be a problem because they respawn, don't they? No, they don't. Hey, <laughs> the torch in it. It's green and has an exclamation mark. Naisu. I fucking forgot. I also got a bloodstone shard, which I most likely probably should use. Oh, come on, lock on. Watch me get killed by the crows. I don't even know what the hell is going on. That was a very interesting encounter, to say the least. Two Bloodstone Shards. That makes three. I might be able to afford a couple of upgrades here. There should be... Yep. No voice acting, of course. You can imagine the sarcastic tone of the lady. As well as... Um, the laughter. It's pretty easy to imagine. It, there is no Souls NPC that doesn't cackle like a maniac. So it's probably burnt into our minds at this point. Doggo. 
By the way, as always, without, you know, beating a dead horse, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to give it a like. Also, comment as well. What do you think of this game? Oh yeah, post notifications. Definitely turn that on. <laughs> Just ran through. Nice. He's in a hurry. God, this game is sick. It really, I don't know. I Derelict. Oh, this is a separate area. Okay, let's see if I can manage this. Um, if I go and... There we go. I didn't know this would be a separate area. What the? Oh, it's a troll. I was like, what the shit is that? I was gonna say that I think it was avoiding the puddle. Oh shit, no. <laughs> We're gonna leave that. Who said it best that... You know, with this mod being the way it is... Oh, this is actually very nice. With this mod being the way it is and getting very good reception and it being excellent, maybe eventually, like, you know, game companies are gonna become so shitty and so exploitative that everybody is just gonna be making homebrewed games instead. Or, like, indie people are just gonna be making homebrewed games instead of, you know, like relying on big companies and they're gonna be way better games and it's kind of the future I'm hoping for instead of I don't know getting the fucking fourth NFT loot box from Ubisoft miss me with that the hunt began, the healing church left us blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. This is one of my... I always loved that quote. It's like so well put, you can like very vividly imagine that going down. Okay, normally this door should have already led outside. Because that is the door to the outside. I'm assuming it's still gonna like... Eventually lead to the same place. Just trying to get through. And it's definitely looking like it. Nice. I'm getting a lot of bloodstone shine. And that's the reason I'm sort of itching to get back to a lamp. I think this is definitely going to lead outside because we need to get this weapon upgraded. I'm going to stick to the saw spear. I don't actually know how many weapons there are total in this mod. Yeah, okay. I see. I don't think all the weapons are... Well, definitely not all the weapons are in because not... Like, the entire game is in remade and... I don't know if... I, I think I talked about this before, right? Like, like this isn't the whole Bloodborne game. Uh, I think what the dev said, that it's going to be sort of released in chunks. I th From what I've heard, it's this sort of covers the, the Yarnum area. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how far it goes up to. Like, legit. What is this? Another load screen. Of course. What would we be without load screens? <laughs> this menu. So good. Nice. Can I? Oh, you need four. How much do I? Oh, I have three. Fuck, I'm missing one. I'm gonna leave my pistol alone for now. I know it would make sense to upgrade it, but... Whatever. That didn't take any souls, though, from what I've seen. Uh, 
All right, doll. Welcome. What is it? If you save with her, does that refill your <coughs> HP? No, it doesn't. I do not remember that dialogue. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. This is a... I don't know. Shit. Yeah, the... The thing about the saw spear is that it's sort of a quality weapon. So it, it, it scales off of... What the hell? Oh, okay. Weird. So wait, so it allows you to... Okay. <laughs> cool game. Alright, I'm gonna just take a quick look around here because... I don't know, man. This no healing thing is seeming a little bit cruel. So I'm just checking if there isn't like a health pool here or something. There isn't. There definitely isn't. All right, let's get back and try to make it through this building. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm definitely gonna check out the path with the two trolls, which is sort of the equivalent of the area, like in the main game, main game, in Bloodborne, there's like off to the side. <laughs> That's pretty cool. If for nothing else, the giant uh, fucking R1 above his head it's worth it almost just for that. Because yeah, this lead this leads, I assume, to the same place. Yup. Whoa, they take a lot of damage now. Which is good because if the if everything is still the same, which I assume it is, uh, these guys are probably still the best. Uh, blood vial farming place in the entire game. Where does this go? Here we have a nice little balcony. And this is the elevator. Or this will eventually be the elevator. But then where does where do those stairs go? There isn't anything. Let's just go down then. Nothing to lose, I think. Okay. I guess there is something to lose when you don't have the shit needed to open it. Cool. Well, I think we've pretty much explored uh, most of this place. Mm, hold on a second. Where I'm trying to go is the place where this area links up with the... Okay, this is the one. With the bridge. The werewolf bridge. And I think this is it. Yeah, this is the one. It should be interesting with the werewolves. Oh, the cleric beast. We can fight the cleric beast now. Because we're close. I feel like I'm strong enough. And really, when we think about it... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, no! What the... 
shit. Are we back? We can't be back in the building. This is a different building, right? We're back in the fucking building. Okay. Make sure not to jump down there next time. It's absolutely not what I was expecting. Attempt number two. See... The issue is I could get just like straight up fucked up by these werewolves. Uh, we're gonna... Okay, like transforming mid-battle is just not a... <laughs> I like it. They look kind of cute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. Annihilated. Straight up, look at, look at this little... <laughs> their movements. Thank fuck my bloodstain is here, although... You know, I just got an idea. Let's see if I can... Manage this. Uh... Hold on, let me let me just think about this for a second. Quick items. Yes. Right there. Select. Cool. Alright, bitch. That is that is not good. Holy shit. Man the Molotov doesn't fuck around in this game. Whoa! All right then. That is packing a little bit more of a punch. Just like yeeted across, like yeeted the werewolves across like half the game world. Uh, oh, there it is. Before we go there, I don't want to. Oh shit! They're gonna respawn, aren't they? It's not good. It's not good. I was gonna say the one thing we need to avoid is a level transition. Because you know that's gonna get me fucked up. This is gonna get me fucked up, like, straight up. Yeah, running out of stamina here in this game is... Actually sort of punishing. I didn't see you there. And it's fucking pointless that I came here too, now I realize. No, what the hell are you doing? What the f... <laughs> Straight up about to die. Alright. Lock on. Shoot it. Where's the other one? Oh, you're gonna get blasted to hell. Clint Eastwood. How is that thing still not dead? Yeah, because this just leads back here, so pointless. Maybe there is hope. No! Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go this way then. Can't follow me now. Okay, that's gonna be... Probably it's easier to... Probably it's easier to warp back to the bonfire or the lamp. You just go through the estate. Yeah, that's gotta be way easier. Still, I think what we're gonna do is uh, we'll go down this path first. Very good choice without, you know, overpraising myself. Is that water? This is gonna kill me, isn't it? But then the question... <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, may maybe not, because it might be... Hmm... 
Hmm. Okay, so... Okay. Just looked a little bit frightening from up there. Alright, we're literally knee-deep in shit. Uh, which I think is about as perfect a place to wrap up this second episode of Bloodborne. PSX Redux or Demake or whatever this thing is called. Demake, I think, officially. Uh, again, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And yeah, I will catch all of you next time in the Yarnum Sewers. Peace out and goodbye.